America, a country once dependent on foreign energy, now poised to be one of the world's leading suppliers of natural resources. We are so accustomed to think about, of ourselves as running out of oil, and all of a sudden, we have at least a hundred year supply of natural gas. It's a boom that has millions of people across this country talking, and some talking about another vital resource. If they had to do what I do for water, they'd have a whole new thinking about drilling. This is northeastern Pennsylvania, home to one of the richest gas deposits the world has ever known. And the communities here are divided over the water some won't drink since the natural gas industry came to town. We had perfectly good water before they showed up. It's a debate that's changed lives and even broken up homes. She walked out of here on me, left a note on the table. This September, join us for a personal look <laughs> inside the lives of six ordinary families from small Pennsylvania towns. <laughs> who are now the stars of this nationwide debate. The stories begin in February 2012. We traveled to two northeastern Pennsylvania counties and followed the families over the course of 15 months. They've drained their resources, exhausted, as they attempt to navigate a new scientific landscape. Boy, too many papers here all to get information about the safety of a resource essential to survive. They'd enter legal battles with corporate giants against Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation. Have seemingly endless meetings with state and federal officials. Who the color it's supposed to be. Depend on filtration systems that don't always work and try to sell their homes when the homes themselves are at risk. They are all drilling for answers. I don't know what I'm dealing with. While America's largest industry drills for natural gas. <laughs>